come across with what to do? That's a good question. I, uh, when I first discovered keto, it was actually when I owned my CrossFit gym. But uh, let's get into that. Hello, everybody joining me today. Welcome. We are live for our Wednesday weekly Q&A to talk all about keto, all about fasting, all about weight loss, all about your health. Let me know in the chat box where you're watching from. Put your city, put your state, put your country, where you're represented from. And I am Ben Azadi for Just Meeting. I am the best-selling author of four books, including my latest book, Keto Flex. And I'm on a mission here with Keto Camp to educate and to inspire 1 billion people. And I'm super grateful you're joining me right now. I'm going to answer as many questions as possible. But first, I want to say hello to those joining. I see Canada in the house. I see Ghana, London, UK. Uh, I see Hanford, California. Let's get started with your questions here. So I see a question that came in here on Instagram about scrolling up. So Wonderland says, is keto good for people with high cholesterol and high blood pressure? Let's talk about that. The root cause of high blood pressure is high insulin. Keto is a very insulin friendly lifestyle. So if you think about that, ketosis, getting fat adapted, lowering your insulin levels, lowering your glucose levels. I've seen that be tremendous with helping individuals regulate, uh, or regulate, I should say, their blood pressure. Uh, and I've, just to give you some examples, we've seen Keto Camp Academy members get off their medication, working with their doctor, of course, with keto in 30 to 60 days. As you lower insulin, there's less need um, for, your body's going to lower your blood pressure as you lower the insulin. They, are, they go hand in hand. So keto could do that if you do keto the right way. Now, high cholesterol, when we talk about cholesterol, and this is a common question that we get a lot, total cholesterol may go up with keto, maybe not. But total cholesterol doesn't mean anything. Total cholesterol in itself is a useless marker. What we want to look at is a full lipid panel, a full cholesterol panel. So yeah, total cholesterol, but also HDL, which is a protective lipoprotein, LDL, but also LDL split into different particle sizes because it's not just about total LDL, but the particle sizes of those LDL, another important marker. Triglycerides are also important to get. And then some inflammatory markers like C-reactive protein, very important inflammatory marker. I recommend all of you request from your doctor, C-reactive protein. You want to see that under one, even better under 0.5 maybe get a homocysteine done, a fasting insulin, an A1C. So when we, when we talk about cholesterol and keto, yeah, maybe your total, H, your total cholesterol goes up, but the HDL might go up with it. Your triglycerides should drop, which is great. Your inflammatory markers should improve, which is great. Your fasting insulin should improve, which is great. So if you want to get more of an understanding on cholesterol with keto, then go on YouTube and type in Keto Camp Cholesterol. I have an amazing video. I also have a separate video on high blood pressure and how to use keto, how to use intermittent fasting and strategic supplementation to reverse high blood pressure. Of course, this is not medical advice, but you work with your doctor. And that's a video you just go on YouTube and type in keto camp high blood pressure and you'll see that. Then I saw a question here from my brother. Where is the question? Okay, so James, so James is a uh, temple... Stewart's um, husband, Temple, was on my podcast lately. She's awesome. Keto and CrossFit, what to do? So when I first started doing keto, when I first got into ketosis and started practicing keto and intermittent fasting, it was 2013, 2014 era of my life. That's when I actually owned a CrossFit gym. <laughs> so can you imagine uh, a CrossFit gym owner getting into keto uh, and sharing that with all the members? It wasn't well received in the beginning. But what I found was very important doing CrossFit and keto is keeping those electrolytes up because when you are doing keto, you're naturally lowering your insulin levels, as you know, James, but also what drops or what happens is you lower insulin, you retain less water, which is terrific. You, you are less bloated. You feel less heavy. You are carrying less water because insulin causes you to store water and retain water so keto lowers insulin and your body releases excess water weight, which is great. But what happens is you, your kidneys also have a diuresis process where your electrolytes 
also get released and dumped as well. So you want to replenish your electrolytes. And then when you're active, you're also using up electrolytes and, and uh, you're going to deplete your electrolytes further. So you want to, number one, be really diligent with your electrolyte intake. Number two, you might get away with more carbohydrates since you're doing CrossFit and you're more active. Uh, the general rule of thumb to follow when it comes to keto, if you want to get into ketosis and, and get fat adapted, for most people, 50 total grams of carbs or less every day and you're in there. If you're very active, if you're doing CrossFit, you might be able to get away with even more carbohydrates, like 70 grams and still be in ketosis. And you might want to time those with your CrossFit workouts, CrossFit WOD. So that would be my recommendation. There, there's going to be an adaptation period as your body's adjusting, but as you stick with it and get more fat adapted and eventually keto adapted, your body handles it really, really well. So electrolytes and carb timing would be my recommendation for those doing CrossFit and keto. Let's see. There was a question here from Diane. Ben, talk about ketosis and cortisol. So cortisol testing could be great, but I'm not a big fan of blood cortisol. That's not going to give you the, the most accurate measure of how your adrenals are working, how your HBA, HPA access, which is your hypothalamus pituitary adrenal access is functioning. Blood cortisol is not a good measurement. Instead, urine, urine cortisol will give you an amazing, good idea, great idea of what your HPA axis looks like, what your cortisol, your diurnal curve, which is cortisol throughout a 24-hour period looks like. So I like a test called the Dutch test for looking at cortisol. Uh, I haven't seen any problems with doing keto and uh, cortisol. Now with fasting is a different story. Uh, if you have, if your HPA access is highly dysfunctional and your adrenals are just so wiped out, uh, what some people call adrenal fatigue, then doing a lot of fasting with adrenal fatigue is not a good idea. You want to take care of the adrenals, support the adrenals, support the HPA access, and then slowly incorporate fasting. But with ketosis, I haven't seen that uh, be an issue. Uh, next, we have Debbie. I see Debbie from New Jersey. Good to see you on here. I see Czech Republic and in the UK, Yoga Studio Lila. Good to see you on here. I see Panama. Dan from Atlanta checking in again. Jessica says, what are the best workouts you recommend to burn fat while intermittent fasting? Thank you. My favorite workouts are workouts in the fasted state. I just finished up a workout right now in the gym here in my building, and I did it fasted. When you go into a workout on an empty stomach, meaning you're fasted, you're putting your body fat at the front of this metabolic bus to be burned for fuel first versus having a protein shake or a banana or a meal, um, then you are putting the calories, the food energy at the front of the metabolic bus to be burned first before your body fat. So I recommend fasted workouts and it's going to depend on your activity level. Start with movement, start with getting in 10,000 steps a day. I love burst training. I love high intensity training where you get the heart rate up and let it rest, get the heart rate up and let it rest. I would recommend a gentleman uh, who is a great friend of mine. His name is Giancarlo Anzalotti. He's also known as GC3 Fitness. Go subscribe to his YouTube channel, GC3 Fitness. He has a ton of amazing workout videos. He is my go-to for fitness. And just follow his videos, but make sure you go according to your activity level. Three or four times a week should suffice for high-intensity training. I think CrossFit is great. If you could find a great CrossFit box that has great coaches and ownership, that understands the importance of recovery just as much as excessive training. You don't want to excessively train. I saw that a lot when I owned my CrossFit gym. So make sure you're balancing out and you're getting quality sleep to balance out the rest and recover from that. Yes, uh, cranberry sauce, happy Black History Month indeed, February. Iceman says, is allulose better than monk fruit? Erythritol, allulose being more positive prebiotically. I think they're all fine in moderation. So if you prefer allulose over monk fruit, or erythritol, it's fine. I think that's that's okay. Just make sure you're having it in moderation. So my favorite natural sweeteners will be allulose. It will be erythritol. It will be monk fruit and stevia. Any of those are fine as long as you're doing having them in moderation. Thank you, Alina. You're all over the place with, <laughs> with your comments. I love that. When you talk about 50 carb carbs, is that net carbs, says Crystal. That is uh, total carbs, total carbs, not net carbs. So I think total carbs is better. It keeps things just straightforward and trans uh, transparent. 
Ken says corporations are still advertising the American eating, America way of eating toxic foods and oils in the human body. It won't end until we make it end. Yeah, we vote with our dollars. Uh, we vote with our fork. So what you buy and what there's a demand for, there's going to be a, they're going to create products for. So if we say no longer will I buy toxic processed foods with seed oils and high fructose corn syrup and preservatives, then you're taking your dollar and put allocating it towards companies that are doing it the right way with none of these toxic ingredients. And they're going to make more of these non-toxic ingredients. But the problem is this, these processed foods are cheap and readily available. If you think about sugar, a lot of people have a sugar addiction. I used to have a sugar addiction. Sugar is as addicting as cocaine, some people say. And some people say it's eight times more addicting to cocaine. And they say that because of some studies where they gave mice or rats, either, I forget which one, rat, rats or mice, but they gave them the option, sugar or cocaine, and they went for the sugar. The, the, the same part of your brain that lights up when somebody experiences a cocaine addiction is the same part of the brain that lights up with the sugar addiction. And here's the deal. There are drug dealers, sugar dealers at every corner, at the gas station, at your supermarket, at the uh, Walgreens, the CVS. So it's cheap and available. If we say no longer will I buy these products, I'm going to buy high quality products, even though I'm paying a little bit extra, that'll become, it'll become cheaper. They'll, they'll make more, but we vote with our dollars, we vote with our forks. So that's going to be very important. Can you comment on oils that go rancid? I sure can, Iceman. So they're called polyunsaturated fatty acids, and it's the processing of them that make them rancid. There's eight of them you want to be aware of, and Dr. K. Shanahan calls these the hateful eight. So everybody write these down as I take a sip of water, grab a pen and paper to write these down. Three C's, three S's, and two others. These are the oils you want to avoid, whether you're doing keto or not. Canola, corn, cottonseed. Three C's. Canola, corn, cottonseed. Soybean, safflower, sunflower. Those are the three S's. Soybean, sunflower, safflower oil. And then you have rice bran oil and grapeseed oil. They are oxidized fats that create inflammation in your body. They're polyunsaturated fatty acids. They, create, they have a lot of these double bonds that attract oxygen and oxidize, creating inflammation. Instead, we want saturated and monounsaturated fats, such as duck fat, beef tallow, butter, grass-fed butter, grass-fed ghee, avocado oil, coconut oil, olive oil. Those are going to be much, much safer. What is a keto-friendly pre-workout drink? My go-to is coffee. I still have my coffee from this morning. Uh, High-quality coffee with maybe some MCT oil could be terrific as a way of uh, giving your body a pre-workout. Plus, they're saying artificial vegan meats are doing well in the marketplace. I totally disagree. They're full of chemicals. Yes, they are. If you look at all these plant-based burgers, a lot of them are loaded with those toxic vegetable oils that I spoke of. What are the best workouts you recommend? I already answered that. Ben, I test. Um, Dan, I'm not sure if that's a question, but you said, Ben, I test from Dutch test. Could you rephrase that? Just heard balsamic vinegar is not good while on keto. Is that true? Um, no, I don't know where you got that from, but a high quality balsamic vine vinegar should be fine. Vinegar is good for glycemic regulation. So is apple cider vinegar. What is the best way to reactivate weight loss after a stall? Been doing OMAD, which is one meal a day, daily. Extreme low carb and keto, still no weight loss. In the beginning of keto, I lost 100 pounds in three months. Let's go, Rodrigo. The best thing to do now is to change up your routine. Congrats on the 100 pounds in three months. That is a lot of weight loss, but your body now is going into preservation mode, survival mode, because you're doing one meal a day, and you're doing keto, low carb. So I would recommend mixing up the routine. No more OMAD, maybe OMAD once or twice a week, but the rest you do like a 16-8, maybe have a keto flex day, which is a higher carb day, make sure your sleep is on point, but mix things up. I always say this, all the great fitness coaches and personal trainers, what do they all have in common? They always change up the workout routine for their clients because it keeps the body guessing and adapting, which continues to get results for the client. Same thing with your fasting routine. Same thing with your eating, the foods you're eating. Same thing with keto and keto flexing. Mix 
things up. That's going to be the best thing to do to break a stall. The fourth him, the fourth and heart Himalayan sea salt ghee is the bomb. Yeah, I love that. I was saying I tested high cortisol on the Dutch test. High cortisol like on a specific time because it gives you a whole 24-hour period. For loose skin, after massive weight loss, what do you recommend? Luis from Brazil. I recommend watching my video on YouTube. Go to youtube.com and type in Keto Camp Loose Skin. I'll give you some takeaways from that video. Strength training, so building muscle, avoiding vegetable oils, avoiding fish oil, getting your collagen up, collagen protein up, and uh, sticking with it. Your body, your skin will adapt. I had loose skin after my 80 pounds of weight loss. Let me check some YouTube comments here. Or excuse me, some Facebook comments here. I see Sherry in the house from Houston, Texas. I see Rose saying hello and thank you for all you do. My pleasure. Uh, I'm on keto about one month, says for Farzana, but no weight loss, but no weight reduced. Why? I also have thyroid uh, and then the comment ended. Um, I would say to pay attention to other factors other than weight loss because there are many healing benefits to keto. And one of them that's not even that important is weight loss, but the body will need to get healthy, reduce inflammation, and the weight will come off. But pay attention to your, get your body fat percentage done. Get some measurements done. Take some photos. How do your clothes fit? Do you have more energy? Are you getting better sleep? Pay attention to non-scale victories first. And as you get healthy and healthy and healthy, the weight will come off and you will be able to get that desired weight loss. How do I get the 4.0 keto package? Uh, Deborah, if you email me, support at ketocamp.com, we'll give you a link for it. I sent out a link to all of my email, to my email list today. Um, so if you're not on my email list, just email me, Deborah Collins, support at ketocamp.com, and Alina will get you a link. Uh, let's see. Keep confused about egg consumption, Dan from Vienna. Eggs could be terrific as long as it's pastured organic non-GMO eggs, but you still don't want to eat them every day. In fact, you don't want to eat every any food every single day. Your body will eventually develop a sensitivity and resistance if you eat the same foods over and over, but eggs could be terrific. Carol from Palm Coast. Hello. Rose says, is collagen good for you? And how and when do you use it? Collagen is amazing for you as long as you get a high quality, cold processed, grass fed collagen. I use it in my protein shakes. Um, I use it, uh, get it from bone broth. So there's different ways to get it. Temple says, women need to watch how much fat they eat. Can you address this? Asking the same question on Saturday. Yeah, Sherry, I saw your question for Saturday's coaching call. And it's not just women, men too. Uh, think about if you're eating a lot of fat on keto, your body does need to burn the dietary fat before it goes to body fat. So once you get fat adapted, then I'd like for you to prioritize protein and get just enough fat so that you're satiated. And I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about that on Saturday's Keto Camp Academy coaching call, Sherry. I love Temple too. What about diabetes, Dolores? What's specifically about it? Fasting glucose is in the 70s. Ketones 1.5 to 3.3. Says Janelle, keeping carbs very low. Any idea why I'm not losing weight and how to get the scale moving? Same thing to you, Janelle. Get body fat percentage done. Get measurements done. Take photos. Just keep working it. Make sure your sleep is high quality sleep. Your weight will come off, but don't let the number on the scale be the number one determining factor if something's working for you or not. Also get some blood work done. It takes time. The body needs to get healthier and healthier and reduce cellular inflammation and eventually now your fat burning hormones could connect better to your receptor sites and help your body burn more fat. Salt will not break your fast. That's correct. Do I recommend keto for hypertension? Yeah, this goes back to when I first heard of this Emmy or M. Um, I talked about hypertension, which is high blood pressure, the root cause of that is high insulin. So keto lowers insulin, which is going to help with high blood pressure. Watch my video on YouTube. Go to youtube.com, type in keto camp blood pressure, and you could see an entire protocol for that. Intermittent fasting with cardio, cardio daily. I'm not meeting my calorie goals and macros. Why am I not losing weight? I don't. We don't focus on calories at all here at Keto Camp. We do focus on macros. 
if you have been too much in a calorie deficit, that could slow down weight loss for sure. So maybe having what I call a keto flex day, which is a feast day, no fasting, higher healthy carbs, caloric surplus, feasting for a day as a way to kind of ramp up burn, fat burning and remind the body, hey, don't worry, we got all this, all this food calorie, all these food calories, food energy coming in. What are your top three most important supplements? Uh, magnesium, Brian and Joe Roach. Magnesium is going to be very important because most people are deficient in uh, magnesium. So I like to use the one from Upgraded Formulas. They have a great nanoparticle magnesium. If you go to upgradedformulas.com, you'll see it. We have a coupon code with them, which is KetoCamp15. So magnesium. I also like Pureform. Pureform is a, an alternative to fish oil. Fish oil is not healthy. Everybody needs to go listen to my episode on the Keto Camp podcast that I just released this morning, all about the dangers of fish oil. Pureform is the alternative. So Pureform number two. And then I would say a vitamin D with all the other fat soluble vitamins. So like a vitamin D complex with vitamin A, D, E, and K just because a lot of people are deficient in vitamin D. I think there was a question on vitamin D. I think it was here on Instagram. India in the house. Good to see you, India. Was there a question on vitamin D? I thought there was. If you had a question on vitamin D, post it again because I have lost it. Is non-GMO soy good for women? I like fermented non-GMO soy. So that's going to be tempeh natto. That could be okay. Will bone broth break a fast? Yes, it will. Bone broth will break a fast. But I love bone broth, but it will break a fast. I'm confused about how much salad I can eat. I have spinach, kale, bell peppers, avocado. Isn't that adding too many carbs? Those carbs are non-starchy green leafy vegetables, so it wouldn't knock you out of ketosis. Westfield, you should be okay um, with those type of carbs. Yeah, Rodrigo, let's get let's go get to Panama and do a lecture there. I know we spoke about that like a couple years ago, actually. So yeah, let's talk about bringing Keto Camp to Panama. I'd love to go to Panama and educate the community there on how to do this, how to heal, heal your body the right way. Where can I purchase Pureform? You can purchase Pureform over at uh, ketocampsupplements.com or there's a link in my podcast notes from today's release with uh, another website with the coupon code, which is purelifescience.com using Ben4 at checkout. Oh, it was Amanda. So what do you recommend for low vitamin D was my question. Most people have low vitamin D. They have no idea. If you're not testing your vitamin D, please go test it. It is imperative. It is essential. You want your vitamin D to be over 60, 60 nanograms per deciliter, 60. And that is um, unfortunate that when you go do your lab work and it's 32 or 38 or 41, you're in the range of that lab report, but that's not, you're still deficient. So number one, it's important to consider that vitamin D and insulin have an inverted relationship so just taking vitamin D and getting sun, but having high insulin is not enough. Lower insulin, which you're doing, Amanda, I know that. Do keto, do fasting, and then get enough sunshine where you're not getting burned. Eat vitamin D-rich foods like eggs eggs and egg yolk, mushrooms, uh, salmon, and then supplement. I recommend I take a vitamin D complex supplement, which is DV3 from Systemic Formulas. I take about 10,000 international units a day. Yep, vitamin D and vitamin K is important to take together, but I also like taking vitamin D, K, A, and E together, which are all the fat-soluble vitamins. So DV3 is, is the best vitamin D supplement that you could find. I take that. It has all of them in the right balance, and you could find DV3 over at ketocampsupplements.com. In keto, do we also need to be a calorie deficit, or it doesn't matter at all? It doesn't matter at all. Um, we don't focus on calories. You might naturally get into a calorie deficit because you're less hungry and more satisfied, but uh, I wouldn't focus on calories. And yes, David, rapeseed oil is canola oil in the UK. Thank you for reminding me. How do I control cravings? Getting your protein up, getting enough animal-based protein will help with cravings because protein activates hormones and chemicals in your body like cholecystokinin, 
Peptide YY leptin that help you feel full and satiated. So 40 to 50 grams at the minimum of animal-based protein at all of your meals, getting quality fat, getting your electrolytes up, and uh, getting fat adapted. All that could help. You could also take L-glutamine for cravings as well. Do I sell supplements? Not personally, but my affiliate, uh, the company that I'm affiliated with is called Revelation Health. And if you go to ketocampsupplements.com, you could find all the supplements on there that you need that all have been vetted by me and the team of doctors that I work with. I'm loving keto, says Arellis. I'm down 20 pounds in a month and a half. Let's go, Arellis. Congratulations. See that you're in full Croft, Pennsylvania. Cindy says, I just lost 12 pounds and I worked out for the first time yesterday and I gained two pounds this morning. Should I still work out or working out? See, that's a perfect example, Cindy, of why you don't want to pay attention to the scale. When you work out, you're going to retain more water, especially when you get sore. You didn't gain two pounds of fat from working out. It's just water weight. It's just retaining water from the workout. Perfectly normal. Workout, working out is terrific. Keep it up. You're doing amazing. And congrats on your 12 pounds. Oh, Westfield, thank you for the donation on YouTube, the $10 donation. You're awesome. I appreciate you, my friend. That is super cool, man. Thank you so much. Is it important to know the omega-3 fatty acids are... An, it, it is important for people to know that omega-3 fatty acids are anti-inflammatory. Omega-6 fatty acids are pro-inflammatory. Pro yes, that's true in general. But there are omega-6 fatty acids that are anti-inflammatory. They're, they're the unadulterated, unadulterated omega-6. But in general, you are correct. Gordon is watching from, the, from Yorkshire, UK. Hello. That sounds fine, Sam Mo. What's your opinion on carnivore diet, especially for women? I love the carnivore diet. In there's an entire chapter on the carnivore diet in my latest book, Keto Flex. It's terrific. 30 to 60 days, especially you know, for men or for women. Terrific way. Resetting your gut, lowering inflammation, getting rid of anti-nutrients. I think it's terrific. Is the product Omega natural? What's what's the product Omega? I don't know what that is. Becky in the house. Good to see you, Becky. Becky, you don't want to miss this Saturday's group coaching call. We have a special guest that I'm not going to share the person's name, but it's going to be a fun little surprise for the Keto Camp Academy members on Saturday. What do we need to eat after 20 hours, for hours, after 20 hours of fasting that is good for our health on keto? The best thing to break a fast with is going to be protein and fat. Bone broth, terrific way to break a fast. Eggs, avocados, green leafy vegetables, great way to break a fast. Steak and eggs, great way to break a fast. Keto protein shake, great way to break a fast. Oh, is the pure form natural? Yes, it is natural. It's from uh, unadulterated omega-6 uh, fats, which give you the derivatives to actually make your own EPA and DHA, which is fish oil, essentially. What is the best way to know if a person has metabolic flexibility? Mm, good question. Easy test. Skip a meal. See how you feel. Easy way to test. Skip a meal or do a 24-hour fast. See how you feel. If you feel really good during a 24-hour fast, if you feel really good skipping a meal, that's a good sign you have metabolic flexibility. You could also do some advanced testing, which is looking at your postprandial glycemic load. So you could use something like a CGM, like a continuous glucose monitor, or just get a finger prick for glucose, but eat a meal, test your glucose an hour after eating. You want to see that under 120, so 120 or below. And then two hours after eating, you want to see that below 100. If you're hitting that, that is a sign of metabolic flexibility. You could always get your fasting insulin done, A1C done as well. Hi, I take whey protein, five grams of carbs after a workout on keto. Is that okay? Yeah. If you're going to have whey protein, the best time to have it is after a workout. Are mushrooms and garlic okay to eat? I cook them with olive oil. What are the other foods you recommend that increase my metabolism while intermittent fasting, says Jessica? It should be okay unless you have a sensitivity to mushrooms or garlic, but I think it's fine with olive oil. Other foods would be meat, grass-fed, grass-finished meat. Wild-caught salmon, pastured 
eggs, organ meat, if you could eat that. Those are great fat-burning, anti-inflammatory foods. Pretty much a carnivore diet. Anti-inflammatory, fat-burning foods. Is it okay for women over 40 to do to fast for two days or more? Um, should be okay as long as you're getting quality sleep, Dina, and you are and you have extra body fat to lose, then should be okay. I see members of my academy do it all the time. Protein shake is a good idea to break a fast. Just make sure it's a quality protein shake. Yes. Any protein shake on keto, one or one should stick to lean protein only. My favorite protein shake is from Health Code. It's Dr. Bickman's company. It's a great keto protein shake. So Health Code, if you go to ketocampshake.com, you can check those out, check them out. We do have an affiliate code with them, coupon code, which is KetoCamp to get 15% off your keto shake with Health Code. No worry, no worries, um, Becky. If you can make it, great. We'll send you the replay. Have a great time at the District Wrestling. Sounds fun. I'm in my second week of keto. I'm having a hard time getting enough fats without eating way over protein. Any suggestions? Yeah, if, once you're in ketosis, you don't have to worry about getting enough fat because here's the cool thing. Once you're fat adapted and you're in ketosis by testing your blood ketones, now you could get your fat from your dietary fat or from your butt your hips, your thighs. So if you have extra fat to lose, then you don't have to worry about getting enough fat and hitting those 80% on your total calories. For protein, your body will use what it needs and get rid of the rest. That's not an issue. Emma in the Philippines, good to see you join us today. It's awesome. Keep sending these questions. I'm gonna get to as many as possible, as many as possible. We got several emails about my um, detox program coming up at the end of this month. Actually, the first call is February 22nd. We have eight spots left for my detox program. So I'd love for you to check it out. There's a short video on our page, um, which outlines a little bit more about why toxins are the number one cause of cellular inflammation, how to detox it properly. And maybe you could be one of the eight spots we have left. So if you want to learn more about that, once we get the next eight spots, we're going to close it. And we only do this program three times a year. You can go to ketocampdetox.com to learn more about the program. Watch the short video. And you'll see at the bottom the payment plans, payment, payment options we have. It includes all the supplements and testing kits for this program. It's going to be life-changing. So if you want to work with me in a small group, four, group, uh, four Zoom calls with me, uh, an online portal, watching detox videos, how to detox the right way with supplements, including testing kits included with videos from Dr. Pompa, Dr. Mindy Pels, and others, go to ketocampdetox.com. 36-hour fast, okay to do once a week. It should be okay for most people as long as you're getting quality sleep and um, you're looking at your glucose and ketones and you're fat adapted. Totally. Good to see you, Cornelia. Watching from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada says, Trish, about to start this journey. Thank you for all your information. Let's go, Trish. You got this. You got this. Strawberries and grape juice, fresh juice. Is it okay? Not on a keto day, but on a keto flex day. Yes, Emma. Because it'll bump you out of ketosis if you have it on a keto day. Do I need to take vitamin D with a meal or with a healthy fat? Yes, it's always a great question. It's always important to take your, your fat-soluble vitamins, so vitamins A, D, E, and K, with a meal and with fat. It's going to help you absorb it. If you don't, you might get nauseous, and it will decrease the absorption if you have it on an empty stomach. I have no thyroid. What do you recommend for energy and weight loss? Alex, go watch my interview here on YouTube with Dr. Rebecca Warren. She also doesn't have a thyroid, by the way, and she's a thyroid expert, and we talk all about what to do. So YouTube.com, Dr. Rebecca Warren, Keto, Keto Camp, and we have actually a few videos with her. Will your blood pressure increase eating meats on the carnivore diet? No, I haven't seen that happen. Can you explain a flex day, please? Yes. So in my book, Keto Flex, which you can buy over at KetoFlexBook.com, it's on sale. By the way, I finished the audio recording for it. Now it's in the editing process. The Audible will be out soon, very, very soon. I'm done with the recording, thank God. But in the book, I outline my four pillars. Pillar one, 
adapt, getting fat adapted, burning fat instead of sugar. I teach you how to do that in 14 days. Pillar two, fast, intermittent fasting strategies and rotating your fasting schedule. Pillar three, phase, phasing out all carbs and the anti-nutrients doing carnivore. Pillar four, flex. So pillar four is called the flex pillar. It's keto flexing. You don't do it until you have been in ketosis for eight to 12 weeks. And how it works is very simple. You choose one day out of the week. You could choose two if you want, where you do no fasting. You take your carbs over 100 grams for the day, up your protein, lower your fat, and intentionally flex out of ketosis. And then next day you flex back into ketosis. And I teach you how to do that with my book. So if you haven't gotten the book, get it right now. It's available on paperback and Kindle, soon on Audible, KetoFlexBook dot com ketoflexbook.com the website for the detox program is ketocampdetox.com awesome cornelia thank you you're awesome jeffrey says hello from michigan started six weeks ago down 27 pounds and i'm doing intermittent fasting as well let's go jeffrey congratulations you're awesome any miracle advice for super sleep i find i'm wired at bedtime in ketosis just starting I do have a book about sleep called The Power of Sleep, so you might want to get that book. I have several podcasts on sleep. Thank you, Becky, for that. So I would recommend um, Cold Dark Bedroom. You might, as you make, so a lot. some people have trouble sleeping in the beginning as they get fat adapted, so you might need to have a little bit of some MCT oil before bed or coconut oil or even like a teaspoon of raw honey. But Cold Dark Bedroom, um, magnesium, maybe CBD oil. I mean, there's so many things I could throw at you, but watch some of my videos on YouTube. Just type in youtube.com, Keto Camp Sleep. I have several videos on sleep. Audible should be out in, uh, what are we, in February? So the my editor is finishing up the editing. Next week, that'll be done. Then we submit it to Audible, and Audible usually takes two to four weeks before it's uploaded. So I would say... It's going to be available on Audible at the end of this month or early March. So within the next 30 days, I would say. It depends on how Audible, how quick Audible wants to review it and get it up there. So yeah, thank you. I am buying it. I love it. Does keto flexing help during a plateau? Yes. In the book, I talk about that. Chapter 10 talks about that in the book. Can you get too much vitamin D? My count was 156. 156, um, if that if you're referring to nanogram, uh, uh, to the U.S. metrics, that is higher than what you'd like. I have never seen vitamin D toxicity. However, that seems pretty high. So I would talk to your doctor about that. It could have been a false reading. I've never seen anybody at 156. We go live every Wednesday here on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter. Every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern time, 9 a.m. Pacific. So make sure you join us every single week. I'm going to answer a few more questions and then I'm going to get out of here. I have some podcast interviews later today that I'm going to prepare for. Are you seeing keto and menopause success? Absolutely, Cindy. We see that a lot. In the book, Keto Flex, I have chapter 12. I have an entire section on how to do keto and intermittent fasting and keto flexing for postmenopausal women. Get the book. I think it's like $6 right now on Amazon. Chapter 12 is the chapter you want to read. It also has a section on, on women who have a menstrual cycle and how to do that. It gives you a week by week breakdown on how to do that. Any presence in India? The book is available in India. If you could order on Amazon, you could get it in India. Thank you, Ram, Ramblin' uh, Glory. Thank you so much for the kind words. Awesome, Cindy, order the book. You are an action taker. Thank you so much. Hey, Jilly, good to see your beautiful face on here. Getting Jilly with it. Just received your book. Awesome, Jamin. You are great. I appreciate you. You're amazing too, Kim. Thank you so much. I love the love. I love the love. Love is great. I've been doing intermittent fasting for a year. And I've lost 30 pounds, but I'm pre-diabetic and having a hard time getting into ketosis. Nice work with the 30 pounds. Insulin resistance, it sounds like you have that. It takes time. So stick with it. Get rid of the inflammatory fats. 
you know, make sure you're really diligent with getting rid of those inflammatory fats, the vegetable oils, the seed oils, getting quality sleep, doing burst training, getting your protein up, getting movement going, and your body will adapt. You'll, you'll be able to get that A1C down, get the, you support your liver as well, support the pancreas, take some, some supplements for them for that as well. Yeah, you're a perfect example, Gail. So yes, for keto after menopause, I lost all my weight on keto after menopause. You did, and I've seen it, and you, your transformation is incredible. My friend has the keto rash. So uh, Anastasia, good to see you on here. So the keto rash, I've seen two reasons why somebody gets the keto rash. And thank you, Jaeger Terry, for getting my book. Two reasons why you might get the keto rash. Number one, not enough protein. I know it sounds weird, but I've seen people just increasing their animal-based protein keto rash goes away. So I would start there first. Number two, it's a, a detoxification effect, um, a toxicity release. When you start to lose weight on keto and shrink fat cells and release fat cells and burn fat cells, your body also releases toxins that are within those cells because toxins live in your fat cells. So increasing your bitters could help. Arugula, ginger, apple cider vinegar, um, taking some liver support. Getting ways to, you know, support bile flow could help. So I would start with protein for keto rash and then look at, you know, ways of uh, helping your liver out. Castor oil pack could also help as well. Just bought it, couldn't wait a minute to win it. Let's go Detroit Axiom, you're awesome. David Richardson on TikTok says, I had great success with keto, lost 70 pounds. Can you give, can you help constipation? Can you give help on constipation or how to avoid? Congrats, David. That is awesome. That is Freaking awesome, 70 pounds. Yeah, I have a video on constipation on my YouTube channel. If you just type in youtube.com, keto camp constipation, but magnesium, potassium, getting more of this parasympathetic nervous system activated and quality sleep will prevent and reverse constipation. Uh... Hey, Sengs, Sengs, thank you so much. I take high cardio dance classes in the evening. Is it okay not to eat afterwards? Yep, I think it's fine as long as you're eating enough during the day. Yep, I do that myself. 3% are here. Yeah, you are. Two types of people out there in the world. 97%ers and 3%ers. I talk about it all the time. And uh, I got this from... My mentor, Bob Proctor, who just passed away five days ago, uh, he's the one who made me aware of the two types of people in the world, the three percenters versus the 97 percenters. So 97 percent of the population are looking for shortcuts. They're looking for pills, potions, surgeries, shots, medication, quick fixes, symptom chasing. They're unhappy. They're unhealthy. That's 97% of the population. But us here at Keto Camp, those watching right now, you're the three percenters who understand cause and effect, who understand getting healthy to lose weight, who understand the body is capable of healing and there's no pill or surgery that could replace the amazing innate intelligence within us. So we do whatever it takes. That's a three percenter. And y'all are three percenters. Thank you for that, for the kind words. What's your stance on celery juicing and liver? It's supposed to be keto friendly. Yeah, it could be keto friendly. I'm not sold on the celery juicing thing. Um, I think there's too much hype around it. So maybe from time to time, you could do some celery juicing, but I wouldn't do that every single day, personally. And go check out Bob Proctor. He passed away five days ago. Brilliant man. Love that man. Incredible man. Ch he changed my life. I, was go I would go as far as to say Bob Proctor saved my life. Probably wouldn't be here with you right now speaking to you. I wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for Bob Proctor. I was depressed. I was suicidal. I was looking for ways to end my life. And then I started studying Bob Proctor and I started getting mentored from Bob Proctor. And I, he helped me take ownership and responsibility. The best ability you could ever have is your response ability. I say it all the time. Responsibility is your ability to respond to life. How are you responding to life? What is your responsibility like? Are you the victim? Are you blaming others? Are you the victim of your history or are you the victor of your destiny? 
Bob Proctor helped me become a three percenter. He's amazing. He's incredible. He changed my life. He still changes my life. I was listening to him this morning making my coffee. Go get his books. Go download his audibles. Go watch him on YouTube. Support him and his family. He's incredible. He'll change your life. He's the one who said, thoughts become things. If you could see it in your mind, you could hold it in your hand. He also said, faith and fear both demand for you to believe in something you cannot see, you choose. He also said, 2% of the population think, 3% of the population think they think, and 95% of the population would rather die than think. Bob Proctor was a brilliant, brilliant man. I'm doing Tony Robbins challenge next month. Tony Robbins is also brilliant. I got to get him uh, on my podcast. I want to interview him and get his book Life Force. Bob Proctor was your mentor. Wow, brilliant man. Thanks for all the knowledge he shared. Yeah, he was. He still is. His physical body's gone, but I still study him. Study him this morning. He's still my mentor. Him and Dr. Wayne Dyer both changed my life. They saved my life. They really did. Every time I think about Bob being gone, at least his physical body, I feel it. I feel sad. Ben, reporting non-scale victory Monday. Fasting blood sugar, 113. Ketones, 1.2. Tuesday after drinking bone broth, glucose dropped. Awesome. That's awesome. Keep at it. Um, S. Luol, uh, S. Luol, keep at it. You know, you're going to keep seeing better numbers. Just stick with it. That is awesome non-scale victory. Congratulations. I've been getting nauseous on my three weeks of keto and intermittent fasting. Is it normal? I would recommend getting your bitters up. Your bitters should help. So it sounds like you're probably not breaking down fat properly. So get your bitters up. Maybe take some ox bile. That'll help. What to change when you're pregnant? Yeah, when you're pregnant, we've had some members in the academy. One of them is Tara, who's gotten pregnant doing our protocols, and she did more of a paleo approach. So a little bit more carbs than keto, but still considered low carb. Thank you, Be Becky. Appreciate you. And thank you, Terry. That's right. Thoughts become things. Bob Proctor's energy has just shifted. He ain't gone. That's true. Nothing is, uh, nothing is lost in the world. Energy is transferred so there's energy transferred somewhere else i'd love to be your mentor <laughs> i mentor those in my keto camp academy uh, i know that we talk a lot about keto and fasting but it goes way beyond just keto and fasting we talk about the mental six-pack and i teach all the principles i've learned from Doc bob proctor or dr wayne dyer so if you want to you know get mentored by me and join our amazing community it's a uh, keto camp academy ketocampacademy.com we're all actually offering a 14-day trial right now. Our next group coaching call is this Saturday. So if you join for the trial, you could be on the coaching call this Saturday. I'm also bringing on a special surprise guest. I'm not going to share the person's name, but we're going to have an amazing call this Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern time. Yeah, Brian and Jill, your, 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 um, your story about Bob Proctor was amazing. Mission and commission, your first mentor. He's changed so many lives. If you haven't studied Bob Proctor, I call him Bobby P. Go on YouTube and just type in Bob Proctor and just be blown away by how incredible that man is. Bloating and gas, 36 hour fast every other day. Yeah, I would recommend carnivore. Carnivore is a great way for bloating and gas. Um, that's going to be terrific. The wellness room, Tampa. I love that. Um, I think I'll see you in August at the Keto Summit, Keto Orlando Summit. Ada, I think we uh, we had a call yesterday about that, actually. So I'm going to be speaking in Orlando. at the. If you go to KetoOrlandoSummit.com, if anybody's in Florida, if you want to travel to Florida in August, I'm going to be speaking there. Who else is going to speak there? Um, Abby, House of Keto will be there. Uh, Dr. Ken Berry will be speaking there. Dr. Um, Annette uh, Bosworth, Dr. Bos will be there. Maria Emmerich, Keto Road, Jonathan Shane will be there. A, a few others will be there. It's going to be amazing. So KetoOrlandoSummit.com. I do have a coupon code, which is just my first name, Ben. 
to get 10% off your ticket price. It's going to be amazing. I'm a big fan of his too. One of the best. Yeah, the best. Bob Proctor started. Bob Proctor started the self-development industry. Coach E, that's right. Coach E is going to be there. I love Coach E. Uh, there's no co there's no coupon code for the academy. We don't we don't offer discounts ever, um, but we do have uh, it's fairly priced. We do offer a 14 day free trial for it right now, which is ketocampacademy.com. But uh, we don't offer discount codes because we we value the amount of information and the content and the coaching. It's just it's much worth much more than the price of admission. I'll tell you that it's life changing. Yep, Bob Proctor just passed away. He did on Friday or third last Thursday, six days ago. Did a hair analysis and telling me to drink celery juice. Uh, I wouldn't do it, Jilly. I would find other ways to get the same. Maybe take just like a multivitamin like Spectra, Jilly. Spectra on ketocampsupplements.com would be better than taking celery juice Spectra. At least Bob left empowering many people like you and you are all spreading the good information for us. Every stage I, I put my feet on, I will mention Bob Proctor's name or I would mention some element from what I've learned from him. No doubt grass-fed is best, but should conventional beef be avoided altogether? Sometimes you can't avoid conventional beef. Sometimes I'm at a restaurant and they don't have grass-fed. Then I will go for conventional. But if you are buying your groceries, I would always recommend you get grass fed and grass finished. It has to say either grass fed and grass finished or 100% grass fed. Hey, Marie, good to see you on here. Stop by to listen in, enjoying your message. Appreciate you, Marie. I went to Bob Proctor's Instagram just now and he passed away. Yeah, he did. He did. You could still learn from him because his work, his work is timeless. It'll be around forever. All right, my friends, I need to go uh, and get prepared for my uh, podcast interviews today. I have a couple coming up. I have an interview with Dr. William Davis, who wrote Wheat Belly and su his new book called Super Gut. He wrote a book called I'm Doctored. I'm interviewing him today for the Keto Camp podcast, and I'm interviewing my friend Brian uh, Grin for the Keto Camp podcast. So I'm going to go and get ready for that. Thank you for joining me today. Detroit just joined Keto Camp Academy. Let's go, Detroit. Um, super excited for you. Our coaching call, our next coaching call is Saturday. So you are going to love that. I can't wait to meet you and learn more about you on there. Um, so yeah, if you want to learn more about what we teach, ketocampacademy.com is, is where it's at. We do an amazing job. You get access to 200 plus videos and mentorship from me, group coaching calls, one-on-ones and monthly challenges. Oh, which book would you recommend from Bob Proctor? His latest book that came out a few months ago, which is Change Your Paradigm, Change Your Life. I'd go with that one. I'd read that multiple times over and over and over. Matul, thank you so much. Uh, you are a great inspiration, says Matul. I've lost 15 kilograms in a month doing keto and fasting, and I've come off my insulin and take half my meds. That is amazing, Matul. Congratulations to you. Amazing. You're amazing. Keep it up. It's awesome. Any advice on how to start social media? Yeah. Um, think media. Think, go study Think Media on YouTube. They have a great program called um, Inner Circle, Think Media Inner Circle. I have a, an affiliate link with them. So if you want me to send that to you, just email me, support at ketocamp.com. But Think Media is my go-to for learning social media, learning YouTube, expanding your reach for your similar wellness niche. niche. Um, so Think Media on YouTube. But then if you want my affiliate link for their Inner Circle, which I'm a part of that, Email me support at ketocamp.com, camp with the K, and I'll give you that link. I just got to find it somewhere. All right. Keto Camp Academy is worth the cost and more highly suggest. Thank you. Have an amazing day. I appreciate you all. Thank you for joining me today. Stay in gratitude. Hit the thumbs up button on YouTube. Go subscribe to the Keto Camp Podcast if you're not subscribed yet. Three new episodes on the Keto Camp Podcast every week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We released one this morning all about the research on fish oil. It'll blow your mind um, and have an amazing day. Talk to you all soon.